On the first thing, um, when I went over these problems, what I wanted you guys to do is you guys imagine I kind of give you guys this list of one, two, three, four, and five of what I wanted you guys to do. The first thing I wanted you guys to do is to graph the parent graph. And if you guys remember, we actually already did this in, in um, we actually already did this last class period. The parent graph is going to be your graph without any transformations. It's just going to be the base and the power. So all I wanted you guys to do right up here was just graph y equals 2 to the x. Forget about the negative and the negative 5. Just graph y to the uh, 2 to the x. So if we were to use a table of values, you could think of like 2 to the 0 power, which would be 1. 2 to the first power would be 2. 2 to the second power would be 4. And then if you guys remember, when we started doing negative numbers, that would actually make them as fractions. So our graph looks something like this. That was the parent graph. Okay? That is with no transformations. Well, that's the parent graph for this with the log? No, for the exponential. For yep, that's y equals 2 to the x. And we did that in our notes last class period. Um, now, the next thing was to, so I, um, oh, actually, I actually, first step was identify the transformations. So once we graph the parent graph, though, let's still look at what transformations that we have. We have this negative. Does anybody remember what the negative is going to do? It's going to, huh? It's going to reflect over the x-axis. It's going to reflect over the x-axis. And then the plus 5 raised to the power is going to, thank you. Go back over that way, please. Anybody remember what the plus 5? Yeah, so it's going to shift the graph to the left. left. Very good. OK. So the main important thing that we want to understand now, Jason, is when you're looking at this, uh, and Walter, so we now have a reflection. All we're doing is taking this graph, this, this parent graph. We're reflecting it over the x-axis, and we're shifting it five units to the left. So basically, all we're going to do is take a point that we know. The one point we do know, you know, is 0, 1. We also figured out a couple other points. But let's just take these points and move them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Move them five units to the left. Then reflect it over the x-axis is just like flipping it just flipping it over the x-axis, like you guys do like an egg or a pancake. You just, you're just you flipping it back over. Just flip this over the axis. Instead of going up one, it's now down one. So now the graph is going to look something like this. So what was the point of doing that dot above? What dot above? This one? Just to say that I'm making this going over 5 to the left 5, and then I flip it over to get to that. So it's really not part of the graph. I just used it as going there. Um, so the next couple things that we're still not done, though, because um, that's, we still have a couple of questions we want to answer. So we graphed it with the transformations, which is my green graph. We need to identify the asymptotes. Now, it's very important when we're talking about exponential functions. For you guys to remember, this graph goes up to infinity, but it only goes down and it approaches 0. It never touches or crosses 0. So that had a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So now this green graph, you guys can see this green graph is still approaching 0. So the asymptote is still going to be y equals 0. Now let's go and look at the domain and range. Remember, the domain is the set of all x values. So when identifying domain and range, basically what you want to do is say, how far to the left is the graph going to go? Then how far to the right is the graph going to go? So we look at this green graph. We say, how far to the left is this graph going to go? Forever, which would represent forever in the negative direction. We'd represent that as negative. negative infinity. And then how far to the right is it going to go as it goes down? Negative. It's going to keep on going to the right. Well, at, remember, domain is just left and right. So how far to the right is this graph going to go? Even though, yes, I know it's going down, is it going to still go to the right? Yeah. yeah. And how far is it going to go to the right? Is there any restriction? No. no. So if you guys remember, Exponential has the same domain as like a quadratic, negative infinity to positive infinity. Yes, George? Oh, OK. Now let's do the range. How low is a y coordinate? How low is this graph going to go? Negative infinity. 
And then how high does this graph go up to? Zero. Zero. And that is all I expected you guys to learn from last class periods 